So for the past couple of weeks, I have been shaking down some new equipment and today I packed it all up onto the motorcycle, getting ready to go camping, hopefully mid-morning by afternoon tomorrow. And I'm pretty excited about doing some winter camping uh, by a lake on my motorcycle. So like I said, last couple of weeks I've been shaking down some old equipment and I purchased some new equipment. I want to make sure that that was functional. Um, it's pretty important in the winter to have your gear uh, perform exactly the way you hoped because uh, you don't want to be out in the weather and be wet and hypothermic and die and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so I did some testing on the new equipment uh, in temperatures close to zero or uh, close to freezing uh, 30 mid 30s and uh, everything seemed to work out pretty well so I packed up everything today and started organizing it um, to go on to my motorcycle so I could go camping hopefully mid morning um, it's not gonna be a, a long trip maybe a day or two uh, in the uh, in the hills uh, close to home not gonna go very far still want to shake down the equipment but I do want to get in the woods it's been a while since I've been in the woods and I'm pretty excited to get the bike loaded up and uh, get back out there so um, if you'll notice I've got these old leather uh, saddle bags and you may uh, think that that's kind of weird but I've been using them for over a decade on three different bikes and these bags have got over 100,000 miles on them. They're not beautiful. They're not what you might consider adventure bags, but uh, they work really well. Uh, they don't melt <laughs> when they hit the pipe like a lot of nylon bags do. Uh, they're mostly waterproof, but you see that blue bag right there. Um, that's where I put my uh, kitchen stuff. Uh, all the cooking utensils and things that I, I need to keep in one place. Um, you can see me putting my uh, cooking pot and uh, stove and everything into this one bag. Everything goes into that blue bag that I have sealed uh, with um, some silicone like I sealed. If you missed the last few videos, I, I sealed a tarp and a tent recently and I was so impressed with it. I went ahead and sealed this bag that I keep everything in. These are not critical items to keep dry, but there's a few items in here that I don't want uh, water getting in. So uh, so I'm just kind of putting all my uh, cooking uh, utensils in here and I've got uh, got a lot of stuff that's already in the bag. A fishing pole, a collapsible fishing pole and a cutting board and uh, lures and a um, a, a, a grill, a collapsible grill. And also you see right there on top, the black bag is a water purifier and I've got uh, a, um, a bladder and I'm just kind of trying to stack it back all back in there so it'll easily go into the other side of the saddlebag. This side of the saddlebag, there's my collapsible fishing rod. Um, but this side of the saddlebag has an aluminum plate because this is the side that goes up next to the uh, next to the um, exhaust, the the muffler. And uh, if you can see, I've got <laughs> there's a there's a small hole in this uh, blue bag from uh, one of the times I swapped the uh, swapped the bags around wrong side and uh, got the the uh, nylon kind of burn a hole in it this was quite a few years ago but uh i keep that as a reminder but these saddle bags are awesome i think i picked them up at a, a swap meet i don't i don't think i paid 200 dollars for these things genuine leather they've lasted forever they have been beat to hell and back and i can't imagine a 600 hundred um, dollar waterproof setup doing any better than it uh than these things have but i kind of want to show you the uh the inside of my pelican case there's my new camera bag that i'm putting most of my camera gear in kind of want to keep this waterproof what you're seeing there is pretty much everything i always carry uh, in there it's a pump all my tools uh the uh, first aid kit is uh not doesn't always go with me um but uh, it's going on this trip since i'm going to be cutting and chopping and fishing and doing all kinds of stuff i figured it might take some extra supplies 
but that's in the top case and then i throw the uh, saddlebags over and it's just so dadgum simple i can't imagine doing anything else and one day these bags are going to fall apart but over a hundred thousand miles i've got on these bags and i've had some serious spills on the bags and they just keep on trucking and uh you know, I'm not saying go out and buy you a bunch of leather saddlebags, but they have worked so well for me. I can't really imagine anything else. And this uh, dry bag with my sleeping bag in it, um, typically I put this in a bigger dry bag with clothes and uh, stuff that I really have to keep dry. Um, but this is just a small dry bag. It's just a couple of days, so I don't imagine I'll be changing clothes. And here is another bag that I'm putting on top of my top case. And I can fill that with just about anything. It's got a camp chair in here, a small camp chair that I just bought, a new camp chair. Ultralight, uh, like Helinox type chair. And a tripod. And I can throw beer in there. I can throw all kinds of extra stuff in there. Um, but uh, just kind of testing out how everything fits and rides. And I made a short 10-mile uh, loop on the bike shortly after that. And everything works out well. Pretty excited. Stay tuned for the video, uh, the camping video. That should be coming up probably Sunday. I'll be back uh, Friday morning and uh, put that together. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and share the video with your friends.